together a whole bunch of different exponent rules in these particular problems. It's powered of power rules and product rules and then just multiplication. So the first example on the left we have negative 2x cubed y to the fourth power multiplied by negative x squared y cubed z. Okay, my recommendation is to first pull in the power into here by the distributive property, distributing exponents through multiplication. Negative 2 to the power of 4 is negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 and times another negative 2 is just 16. x to the third to the fourth would be x to the twelfth and y is just being raised to the fourth so there's that piece. Then on the right no extra exponent so this would just be a negative x squared y cubed z. So as far as the numerical parts go, we have a 16 times a negative 1, a positive times a negative. So we're going to have a negative 16. We have x to the 12th and x squared. So with the same basis, we're going to add together the exponents located here and here. 12 plus 2 is 14. So we're going to get a total of 14 many copies of x. Then with the y's, we have 4 y's here and 3 y's here. And that means there's a total of seven y's altogether by the uh, pro by the product rule for uh, exponential expressions. And then finally, right at the end, just a little lonesome z. So the final answer for the left-hand side should be negative 16 x to the 14th y to the seventh times z. Okay, on the right-hand side, let's try it again. Three cubed a squared cubed b squared cubed and c cubed cubed is going to be let's see, 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 a to the 2 times 3 is 6 b to the 2 times 3 is 6 and c to the 3 times 3 is 9 then 2 squared a to the 4th squared and a b cubed squared would be let's see, 2 times 2 is 4 a to the 4th squared is a 8 and b cubed squared is b to the sixth. So altogether, 27 times 4 would be 108. a to the sixth, a to the eighth would be a total of a to the fourteenth. b sixth, b sixth is going to be a total of b twelve. And finally, c to the power of nine. Okay, hoping that's enough practice, why don't you try one on your own on this next page here. Pause the video and see if you can do this one with L's and M's in it. Okay, assuming you pause the video and tried it on your own. What do we have in our first part? Hopefully you got 5 squared, which is 25. Then L squared squared, which is L to the 4th. And then M cubed squared, which is M to the 6th. The other part? We have cubing going on. 2 cubed is 8. L cubed cubed is L to the 9th. And M to the 4th cubed is M to the 12th. Now combine. 25 times 8 would be 200. 4 copies and 9 copies of L for a total of 13 many copies of L. And then 6 and 12 copies of M gives us m to the 18th. So our final answer here should be 200 l to the 13th m to the 18th.